Hello and welcome to this tutorial from the file ICT Academy video library. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use basic trigonometric functions inside Excel. Now in Excel, if you look at the formula tab here, you'll see that there is a special group of functions called math and trig. Now within this group of functions, you can perform mathematical calculations and also trigonometric calculations so um, in this lesson we are going to look at how to find the sine cosine and tangent of a given angle when solving trigonometric expressions like sine cosine and tangent it is very important to realize that excel uses radians not degrees to perform these calculations if the angle is in degrees you must first convert it to radians and we can do this using two methods so let's first put some values in the in column a here where we have angles in degrees so i'm going to type zero and then press control and enter and i'm going to after that i'm going to hold down the control key and drag okay maybe let's just stop at here so we have some angles here in degrees and uh, as i said earlier we first need to convert it into radians right so to do that uh, let me show you the first method here so first we can say equals to and then we click on the angle the cell containing the angle which is cell a3 here and we multiply it by pi so the function for pi is pi so the moment you type pi as you can see it says it returns the value of pi accurate to 15 digits so when you just press the tab key you'll see that the bracket will open and then you close the bracket without putting anything between the brackets use the division sign which is the fourth slash so you're going to divide it by 180 and you press enter that's method number one so that will give you zero so we have converted that's one way of converting an uh, an angle that is in degrees to radians the other method is excel already has a built-in function that you can use to find uh, the radian of a given angle so the way to do that you said equals to radians or the moment you type r a d you see radian so it says converse degrees to radians so then you press tab and from there you click on the cell containing the degree that you want to convert which is a3 here and then you close the bracket you press enter as you can see it will give you the same value so both methods work so if you want you can use this method but the easiest way is just to use the radians function now we're gonna like so when you drag here you'll see that uh oops uh when you drag you will see that you have the angles in radians so you see that you all have the same they're all the same as you can see so now we can find the sine cosine and tangent of each angle so what we can do is we can say equals to sine we open the bracket so instead of using the angle we're going to be using any of the radians here so close the bracket we press enter so now we have the sign of that angle and then we can now drag it so that we can have the sign of the other angles here so for cosine we can say equals to cos with the bracket remember we use the radian angle here press enter we get one and then we drag Mm, this one we say equals to tan we use the radian value and then we drag so that gives us the sine cosine and tangent of all these angles using the radian value instead of the degree okay so if you also want to convert the radians back to degrees there is also a function inside excel that can handle that for you now that one is equal to degrees as you can see 
the moment you type deg you see degrees here and uh, it says that converts radians to degrees so you press the tab key to so that excel will complete it for you and then you click on the cell containing the radians and then you close the bracket you press enter that will give you a degree you drag so you'll see that you have the same values as this ones here so that means you have here you have learned um, how to convert uh, degrees to radians and radians to degrees okay now there is also uh, another method that you can use a shorthand method that you can use to find the sine cosine and tangent of an angle now to do that for example if i don't have i don't i don't necessarily have to do all these things but i just want to show you that you can you, you first need to convert the angles to radians before you'll be able to find their sine cosine and tangent so the shorthand is you say equals to sine you open the bracket and then you type radians and then you type you click on the cell containing the angle and then you close the bracket twice so why because this other bracket the last bracket closes this one and this other one closes this one so after doing that you can press enter so that should give you the cosine oh sorry the sign of that of those angles so the same thing works so the cosine so you for say cos radiant so this will automatically convert the angles into radians and then find the ratio right so you can say done radiant close the bracket twice enter right so that's the shorthand and actually it is the quickest method so i hope this tutorial helps and then thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and also to fall ICT Academy where you can receive latest posts about technology. Thank you.